What's up, YouTube? Listen, family, we back at it, guys. I got a jam-packed video. Class will be in session. I just want to teach a couple of things, go over a few things in preparation for a money-making opportunity on tomorrow. So without further ado, keep it locked, and let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, guys, check it out. We got earnings on tomorrow, all right? And you see what Netflix was able to do after hours in terms of when they reported and how the stock took off, okay? Listen. Tesla will be in focus. I'll cover them in a minute, but I just want to put this on you guys. Tesla will be the focal point for tomorrow and after hours. If they can come out with a beat, look for a continued rally to the upside, okay? But without further ado, I got something I need to teach you guys to look out for. Let's go ahead and dive into it. Okay, guys, check it out. We have the SPY, ticker symbol SPY. This is a S&P 500, I wanna cover this for you real quick. Today, I want to, although we are about to possibly have an epic rally on our hands, okay? So I want you to buckle up for that. I want you to anticipate it, even if it's just a one day rally on tomorrow, okay? Cause then we gotta sit on our hands and wait for Tesla to report to see how things go. But check this out, guys. I wanna show you something, all right? This is a bull trap that I want you to watch out for. So for instance, guys, I talked about the fact that when you're at certain levels, like for instance, from right here at 374, okay, this didn't close here, this is after hours, this is Netflix and other things pushing this up, United Airlines, so on and so forth. Okay, but check this out. Tomorrow, for instance, this will touch 375, it will test it. Touch means test, okay? They're trying to test and see Okay, if it has enough buyers, volume, and momentum to go to the next level, which from here will be 377, okay? But stop right there. All right, now let's go ahead and go through this. Look at this in pre-market. You guys are always giving clues about what's going on in pre-market. So watch this. At 750, this was going up, 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 and up. But look at this, guys, at around nine o'clock market's not open yet it hit 375 it flirted with that number remember i told you any strong move up will again be retested but look at how they played us so this dipped but then at 9 30 look at this guys what's this price 375 again but this is where the bull trap come in so now you guys get in this was around 373 374 at 9 30 it was going back and forth then it popped up 375 so then as opposed to locking in profit we always talk about every day in the discord where stocks will go and nine times out of ten they hit the numbers i call out to a t but what we do next is the thing i want to talk about today okay so boom it hit 375 that was a number we talked about this morning that's the number i talked about in the video so on and so forth but watch what happened after this after it tested the resistance level or the number we talked about it going to guys it tended to sell off the rest of the morning hit 372 that was a level it popped back up but only the 374 never getting back to 375 at least for right now then this level fell okay support turns into resistance and then resistance will turn into support guys you have to know it's an ever evolving type of market okay so then from 374 this flushes all the way down to 371 okay we call this a bull trap because the bull mean you thought it was about to go up higher you thought this was going to go you saw it test 375 they showed it to you in pre-market and they showed it to you again at market open but when you're not patient, you again can think, oh, it's about to go to 377, 380. Nope, they don't let you get nothing that easy. Just like I taught you guys about when the market was at 357 Friday, and this next stop is really 350. But they don't sent it all the way up here. Now we up $20 higher than that now because they'll never give you low hanging fruit. So always be mindful of that, okay? So now we don't flush all down to 371, but look, it went down and closed the gap of this morning okay yesterday it closed at 366 it gapped all the way up to 375 today 374 what what have you but look it came all the way back down to close the gap only to run back up towards the end of the day stopping at around 371 okay this after hour stuff and this netflix stuff pushed it up higher but the the teaching point is this guys respect the levels 
when you hit your price target, so in this case, it would be 375, okay? You want to lock in some profits and then assess what you see. Meaning, did the play have the strength to go higher or did it get rejected? Rejected means as soon as it hit 375, it came right back down to 374, 373. Then it might test it again and you need to kind of keep track of the, the touches in which it's trying to break through because that's trying to tell you something. It might not have the momentum yet. Now with Netflix earnings, okay, and another positive day, when we we see already in after hours, they got us right here around 374. We may now test 375. We may come back down slightly again, but this time we may have enough momentum, buying power, and volume to bust through okay so these are the things i want you to be looking out for protecting yourself managing your risk and then demonstrating a lot of patience when you're trying to make money intraday off of these moves okay they'll always give them to you but you have to be surgical that's why i go over this stuff so much okay so that's just an example of someone getting excited thinking that oh it's right here at this number it's 375 it's about to go to 377 not in a straight line it's gonna get there but they may take you all the way back down to 368 first then take you to 377 okay understand the up and down fluctuation that's why around here we learn to make money in both directions to so the upside and the downside because the charts is where the money is made okay then guys i want to close it out with tesla okay ticker symbol tsla sitting at 224 right now in after hours i talked about this in the discord this morning the fact that this would make a run for 230 and then wall street will push this down to 218. let's look at some of these levels on a day look at that by 11:45, wall street had pushed this all the way back down to 218 just like we call it in the discord why because i knew that look out for the bull trap okay we said it was going to go to 230 it went right here to 229 okay as soon as it got to 229 230 you lock in your profits because they are trying to do a test they're trying to see if we got volume buyers and momentum okay boom as soon as we got to 230 look at this what we do we went right down boom 225 220 218 like clockwork understand these movements guys understand these levels the whole market is just going from level to level level to the upside level to the downside you determine if you want to be a person that plays calls so if you were playing calls you would purposely wait for we call this a double bottom right here you would purposely wait for the low numbers i call 218 because look it ran all the way back up to 221 that's good money and options okay or if you want to do puts you let it hit the number i tell you i told you in the discord this morning tesla will go to 229 230 then if it get to 230 if it can get through it's going to hit 240 they didn't the bears were sitting right at 230 so my 230 family you guys would have bought puts at 230 and just rolled this down to 218 get in and get out by 1145 look at this you ain't got to be in these plays long by 1145 you could have made a killing from 229 230 all the way down ten dollars eleven dollars down here to 218 okay it's that simple but it's easier said than done that's why i want you guys to practice i want you to paper trade i want you to take mental reps and continue to show up each and every day desiring to learn and master this investing is easy guys we buy and hold we invest in quality companies we get our vti we get our apples and we hold them three to five years ten years we add to them dollar cost average to them on dips but this right here can expedite your growth building process your wealth building process as well as change your trajectory of you and your family and speed up the process to getting you off the corporate plantation listen guys i hope this was helpful we make videos like this every day so if you like this one make sure you check out the next one remember most people see the end result very few consider the journey so do me a favor don't forget to like subscribe to the channel make sure you guys grab some free stock using my link below and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace